get a cup of coffee or tea, whatever you're <clears throat> drinking this morning, grapefruit juice, orange juice, we're going to have a special broadcast. It's going to be a power week. So why don't you mark it down on your calendar? Every day this week, our live broadcast has a special guest. Today, Monday, uh, April the 21st, 2014, our special guest will be Messianic Rabbi Stephen Danoon. He's been a guest on our show before. He's very, very uh, knowledgeable and very excited about the coming of Jesus Christ. Now, he just recently moved his family from America to Jerusalem, to Israel. He'll be calling in today live from Jerusalem and get us, we need to find out from him what's going on with these riots that's been happening. There's been three of them in the last 10 days on the Temple Mount as Palestinians have been throwing rocks and and uh, and disrupting and pushing and shoving. There's been injuries, and uh, Israeli defense forces have had to use stun guns and uh, and all types of different um, tear gas and different measures to bring the rioting and the uh, reveling and and all of the uh, rebellion uh, under control. What it was, the Palestinians are trying to prevent Jewish worshipers from walking up the ramp onto the Temple Mount. Uh, it's just been getting ugly. There's even been a Jewish man killed in Ramallah on Good Friday. There's just a lot of tension as the peace covenant, the covenant with many in Daniel 9.27, is, as this peace agreement is getting nearing very close to a signature, there's been a lot of pushing and shoving. Bible prophecy tells us that God spoke in Genesis 25.21 and told Rebecca, he said, in your womb is two... Uh, nations and two manner of people. Uh, so the, the even though it was Jacob and Esau, the twins struggling in her womb, it was actually two nations and two manner of people struggling. Well, we know one was, of course, Jacob and representing the Israelis, and the nation of Israel was the nation. The other one, Esau, married in with, of course, Ishmael's descendants, and a lot of different Arabic nations were birthed. That prom, prom, They basically are all followers now of Islam. Well, this struggle between a birthing of Israel and a Palestinian nation has created an end-time apocalyptic scenario when it relates to the streets of Jerusalem. Now, I was in Jerusalem last year in May, received a vision of the Lord, and uh, wrote this book entitled Jerusalem Jihad. And we're going to be asking uh, Messianic Rabbi Stephen Danoon today to help us understand the atmosphere, the prophetic unction that's being birthed right on the cobblestone streets of Jerusalem. Also the fact that Pope Francis is going to be arriving later in the month of May Will he be there for the signing of the peace covenant, or is he there to help build a one-world religion? And uh, that's why in my book, Jerusalem Jihad, we, we actually go in depth on Tony Blair and his faith foundation, as well as uh, Pope Francis I and others. So we're going to be talking to Stephen and you can find my book. It's only at my website. It would be a powerful read. It's a very historical account of the birthing, of, or actually of the children of Israel and the birthing of Israel as a nation. It's also very prophetic with current world events, how they relate to Bible prophecy and an end-time apocalyptic scenario. It is a sequel to the book I wrote uh, uh, two years ago, Mark of the Beast. So I think you'll be blessed when you read it and understand the end time uh, ramifications and the, the information and actually the manifestations, the great revelations we're getting of the coming of the Lord. Here's the question. Have you got salvation? Because it's very important. Well, it's the most important thing you could do. So don't miss today's broadcast with uh, Messianic Rabbi Stephen Danu. Tomorrow, we hope to have Andy fire charger as he's just getting back from his missionary trip in Guatemala and Wednesday we're going to have Daryl Myatt from Keller Texas he has just returned from Israel 
his first visit there. I want to find out what the Lord has revealed to him and information he has attained. And then Thursday, BP Earthwatch will be with us. And we've had 21 significant earthquakes in the last 30 days. We had 50 earthquakes yesterday. There are solar flares on the sun. There is all kinds of activity. CMEs are still hitting the earth. We want to find out more about all of those signs as well as the comet linear. So there's going to be an update on all of that. He'll be our guest Thursday. And then Friday, it is Joe and Doug Hagman. Why are the bankers dying? They're being murdered. And there's been 28 dead bankers and now three dead pastors. Unexplained suicides without notes. I'm not buying it. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. And then next weekend, either Saturday night or Sunday night live, we hope to have Anita Fuentes. She has accepted our invitation to come on our broadcast. We will let you know it will be a prime time broadcast. We'll let you know what night that's going to take place later this week. So just get ready, somebody. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, because we're living in the last days. And if you're not saved, you want to give your heart to Jesus Christ. So my show, of course, today from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern live. Go to my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. I'll be right back. There's some unbelievable current world events that are taking place right now. i got to get it to you. It's going to be a very busy week. We're going to get caught up in all of this since we've returned from Jamaica. It's unbelievable what God is doing and the apocalyptic signs taking place around the world. Give your life to Jesus Christ.